I just think it's incredible that there really are so many electric cars in Norway and that they're really forerunners in electric mobility. Why is that? I think most politicians around the world understand that the oil age is going to end. We're actually in front of a paradigm shift when it comes to the transport sector and the energy sector, and it's going to change fast. There is no other way to solve the climate problem than zero emission solutions. If you want to focus on efficiency, but still with the fossil fuel as the energy source, you will never reach your goals. In Oslo, 63% of all emissions are coming from traffic. So if you are going to do something about environment problems, you have to start with traffic. It's the only way you can do it. So therefore, in 2008, the city made a 10-point program to reduce CO2 emissions. And luckily, one was to actually help boosting the sale of EV. Norway has done a lot to help the introduction of electric cars. Pure electric cars are actually exempt from taxes, also VAT. So that means that these cars can actually compete price-wise when it comes to buying them. We also have a packet of incentives, access to the bus lane, free public parking, you don't have to pay at toll roads, and several other incentives like that, which means that buying a car also makes sense uh, economically, and when they have bought the car, they never want to go back. Even for me that I've been working several years with EV cars in the, in the politics, it was a little bit scary to start using it. Will it work when I arrive there and, okay, it's only 20% left, will I get back home? And after driving it for some weeks, I understood that it was easy, that all these little fears were just because I hadn't done it before. The basic idea is that an EV should be cheap to buy, cheap to use and also practical and convenient because most people want to do green choices in their daily life but they must be able to afford it. In 2012 we stated what we thought was a very ambitious goal that in 2020 there should be a hundred thousand electric cars and we are almost there today in 2016 so that is I think an important message. During the next years, we will get uh, several new models from different producers that can take us longer before charging. I think that will make the sale of EVs in Norway increase dramatically, because now people are actually waiting for the, their favorite model. After 2025, we don't want fossil fuel cars to be sold anymore. So from 2025, uh, all private cars, minivans and small buses will have to be zero emission. Once you have started to drive an EV car, you don't want a petrol car again. <laughs> it feels very old-fashioned, actually. It's not rocket science. It's possible to do it. But we need good technology and we may, uh, need to make it simple for the users, like the use of a smartphone. It should be simple and easy and motivating. I think the important message is that we are in a hurry. We need to reduce emissions. So we need to do something and the solution is there. We can start driving electric and use more and more renewable energy to, to fuel them. We have the solution and uh, so just do it.